<laughs> All right, listen, UFC Fight Night Denver, Jasmine Jasavicius, listen, we got one. Like, I know it was supposed to be you and Mike Malott on this card. Mike, obviously his fight falls out. Yeah. We almost didn't see you on this card. We had a fight fall out, but we, we got what we came for, right? We got it, we got it, yeah. It was like a week before the fight, and I got a message from Mick. Never want to see a message from Mick during fight, fight camp, or us, and freaking two weeks before the fight. And uh, yeah, so said she's out. Gave me another girl. Sucks it was like a debuter versus a top 10 chick, but ah, what you gonna do? I still get to fight. I heard, I mean, you got a victory over Miranda Maverick, and I know you guys were training mm -hmm. together. I heard when you found out the news, you literally looked at her and were like, hey, do you wanna fight me? Yeah, so like, that's one thing that I love about martial arts is that me, Miranda and Rose kind of all training together and all talking like, oh, what if we have to fight? But, like Miranda, um, Mar uh, Rose took Miranda's opponent and before that was even uh, like locked in, they were talking about if Rose and Miranda should fight. And then when my fight fell through, we were talking like, hey, should me and Miranda fight again? Like, it, it's cool that we're able to train together, but I, as well be professional enough that we know like hey let's maybe fight too <laughs> so it, it's really cool and she gave yourself her pickles and honey and they are bomb so hit, hit her up for them <laughs> listen and, and shout out to fatima for taking the fight i mean she comes in she's got an undefeated record she's moving up a weight class right and yeah. i think i think ultimately that probably played a bigger part i mean the altitude and then moving up a weight class with a girl who's like big and strong like you right yeah for sure you know kudos to her she's 115 or coming up um she's in the ufc now so you know that was obviously her her treat and she had to take a loss because of it but um you know she's still young in the sport i feel like part of being in martial arts is like you have to go through these hard times you have to take losses you know how many times i've left practice like bawling my eyes out i think there has to be part of that getting beaten down to be like learn those those hard lessons that you like the the tears are all adding up to finally being able to like get that victory back you know it's finally coming full circle i think i think the biggest part of the fight was literally in the first round where that grappling exchange happened and yeah. you i mean you were able to reverse it you're able to get the top control and i think after that to me, it looked like you're like, all right, I can I can pretty much take this fight wherever I want. That, yeah. It was like, I did a lazy kick. The coach said, no lazy kicks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lazy kick put me down and right when I right when I hit the mat I was like okay patience like don't don't go ah, you know patience been here before work my game I've been here do get up and then once I reversed it and then I was like oh okay now we're okay and then you know obviously getting back into it into the second round I like, gotta watch out for her striking blah 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 but I'm like I know what she feels like on the ground and that's always kind of my uh, ace in the hole and I mean, shout out to you because she's got a pretty extensive grappling background as well, right? Yeah, yeah, she's a black belt, right? I'm only a brown belt, but uh, you know, I guess that colors don't really matter. <laughs> so listen, I think we all, every, everybody in Canada wanted to see you get that top 15 fight, right? I think you're sitting at 15 right now, top of the division. So, I mean, realistically, is it, to, is it a top 15 opponent or bust? Or is it, hey, if they give me a fight, I'm gonna take it? Um, hey Mick, it's only a top 15 or we bust. I'll take anything. No, <laughs> no I, I, you know, I don't know, man. I just finished the, this fight. I kind of like let my team deal with, with all of that. But, uh, you know, I've said it from the start. I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time and I'm here to fight. Like I, I, I want people with numbers. I want to get that belt. I'm, I'm reaching for the top. I know what my skill set is and I'm going to continue to like prove that in front of the fans. Um, but yeah, like give me someone with a number. Come on. And I love the heel turn at the end. I, I, I love you playing into the crowd a little bit. I mean, that, those are things that people want to see, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, we were like in the middle of talking. I just hear some guy boo. I couldn't even hold my tongue. I'm like, what the heck, man? <laughs> and uh, listen, last thing I noticed before we get out of here, straight right hand, like super confident in that right hand, right? That's my baby, man. I love it. Listen, Canada, we got a prospect, man. Jasmine Jazavicious, congratulations. And uh, always good to see you, man. Oh. Always good to see you. So great repping to Canada, man. Oh, Canada, baby.